What's going on guys, Day back again, and today I have a package that I was sent all the way from Latvia. Yeah, if uh, that doesn't sound familiar to you, it didn't to me either. So this company from Etsy uh, called Miniatures Cave, and I will put a link to their shop down below, ended up contacting me over the holidays and they asked if I would do a, um, not so much a review of their products, but actually just some videos on how to prime, what kind of primers to use, how to paint and what kind of paints, things like that. Just general how to's on some of their minis because I guess they get a lot of people asking and they just wanted something to refer to. So I was like, yeah, sure. Plus I've been really interested in ch checking out some of the resin printed minis. I've actually been looking at getting a resin printer and I just haven't pulled the trigger yet because I don't know how much that I'd end up using it. Uh, I think there would be some cool mecha designs that you could end up doing, um, but I have really haven't dove into that yet just because I don't want to get too hooked into it. So I ended up receiving this little package right here, and I think there's like five or six little minis in here. And I asked Kate, which is the owner of Miniatures Cave, to send me a variety of sizes from larger size bus to the smaller, just regular uh, like 28 millimeter 32 millimeter minis and she was super awesome um, she did contact me over the holidays i think it was around new year's uh, and was kind of apologetic that you know she hadn't had a chance to work on my stuff yet because she was trying to fulfill orders that had come in and i told her that's perfectly fine you're sending me free stuff you know take care of the people that are paying for stuff first and that's just the way i am with you know retailers or other people that i'm dealing with you know if you have I'm not in that much of a hurry. So she was super cool. This ended up shipping out. Uh, she shipped it out by regular mail. It came very well bubble wrapped and I have kind of pulled out the bubbles to take a peek at them, but I haven't really dove into what the miniatures look like yet. Um, but I wanted to give you guys uh, just a quick look at these. Now what's funny is, and I know I'm kind of wasting a little bit of time, but what's funny is that this shipped from Latvia to New York took two days from New York to me in California took two weeks, actually a little bit over two weeks. So um, yeah, that, that was kind of messed up. So I'm gonna pull these out real quick. And like I said, they were very well wrapped and this is just kind of a, a quick look just so I can get them open and everything. So taking a look, uh, this was the one that I actually wanted the bigger scale for the bust on and I do still need to wash these. I know the usual protocol with these are uh, once they're done printing to pull them out, wash them in an alcohol bath and then wash them in soap and water and then UV cure them once you clipped off the supports. This one, uh, I don't know if you can see in the hold in here, but you can see there's all kinds of supports inside of it and it's actually hollow. So that actually saves on resin. You do have these little, and I don't know if I'm imagining that these are from the supports. So from what I've ended up seeing and watching videos of how to set these up, uh, something like this, they would actually put on the build plate like this. So if you're looking at the build plate, it would be like this. And I can kind of tell, like if you catch right there, you can kind of see the marks from the different levels. Um, you can, just scraping your fingers on it, you can kind of feel that. The layers are like super minuscule though, if you end up looking at it, uh, at the striations in here. Um, on the backside, there's actually none. Like, I'm really surprised. You don't end up seeing any until you get on to the face portion, like right here. Uh, there's some right here, right here on the chest. Uh, and that's the area that it pulls up from that but it feels soft enough that it should be easy just some um, bendy sponge and just clean those down i am kind of curious why there's like this the seam line from it being like in a mold because this wasn't in a mold I, i'm not sure i'm not sure how or why that ended up coming out like that but yeah my main thing was i just wanted to show you some of the details so this is uh i forgot what the name of this one is but you can find it. Um, these, they almost look like warts, but these are from the 
the anchor points. So those are just clipped off. Those will be easy to sand down. Just run some sandpaper over the chest here. Get rid of those. Now for this one, hopefully I don't get dinged by YouTube for this. Uh, here, I'll do this so that I don't. Um, yes, she has, uh, she has boobies on here. You can see the drain. Uh, drain spot so this is where the resin once it's done printing will pour out and uh, she is anatomically correct uh, i just i picked this one out because i really i really liked it and this one you have a little bit right here on the chest if i can catch a reflection just right uh maybe a little bit right there you can kind of see it um some striations on the chest there but I don't know. I just kind of, I kind of liked it. Uh, one of her arms did break in shipping. So we will glue that back. So that may be one of the videos that I end up doing uh, for them is how to glue resin or how to fix broken parts. So that's her. Next up, we have this little guy and he is a werewolf. I do like werewolves. And I thought this would go pretty damn good. You can see the support clippings. Uh, that were on there so it probably printed like this I'm going to assume uh, this does not have a drain so I'm going to assume that this is solid and it actually feels kind of solid but I do like the hair detail and everything on here and this one actually has almost no striations to it so it seems like you only really notice those on bigger pieces next up is the severed head and uh, I got this because I think uh, I'm not sure where he is. I have a Gotrick around here that's primed and I'm not sure where he is. He's up on a shelf somewhere, but I thought once I saw this that it would be awesome if he was standing on the troll's head. And this one, I'm not exactly sure how it ended up printing because you have some marks here, along here, and then on here. But I think, I think it came out really well. Like I can hardly see any striations. I, they do. You know, I'm really happy with their work. If you do up some gore and stuff on here, which is one of the tutorials that I'm going to do for them, I, I, th I think that's going to be pretty cool. If you want this either as a marker for your tabletop game or you want this as a base for something to stand on, uh, yeah, you could do that. Last but not least is another bust. And this one, I think uh, they have advertised as one tenth scale, something like that. And... Uh, I, I saw this one and I really liked it. There was just something about something about how she ended up looking that I just I really liked. Uh, yes, the resin is like a, a grayish with a blue tint to it. Uh, I do like it. Uh, you do have some markings on here. You have like a line that comes up almost like a seam line. And I'm wondering if that's part of just part of the 3D file that they're ending up using. Like it, they did a scan of a master and then went from there. I, I don't know. Um, on this one, you do have some, it looks like, I don't know if it's scarring on the face or if it's striations, uh, just faulty from the printing. So maybe we'll do something with some mill put uh, to fill that in, smooth that out and make it all nice and pretty. The hair is very well done. The clothing is well done. We'll just have to sand down to get these little nubs off of here. But I think this one should be pretty cool. So ultimately, do I think that these are worth the price that they're selling them for? Um, I think so, especially if you don't have a 3D printer, you don't want to go through all the mess. It does take a little bit of time for them to um, print these off. They don't make like a master and then make molds and then pour resin. And some of these, I'm like, oh, maybe it would be more economical or faster or easier to do it that way. But if they're doing it these, all that they have is the resin that they're using and the time invested. Uh, I would assume something like this probably takes about five hours and maybe something like this would take uh, closer to 10 hours. But compared to what I've seen with some others, like this guy that's back here, uh, this is the creature caster. Um, the detail is fantastic on here and I'm pretty sure that they use like a really high end 3D printer. I'm, I'm assuming that they're doing 3D printing um, and then, you know, do a master print and then cast from that. But I think between these, like the detail that's in here is, is phenomenal. And I think a lot, I mean, basically if you look at like GW stuff or the other main companies, um, that's what they do. You know, they don't really do other than maybe some forge world stuff. They don't really do any sculpting anymore 
and then making the molds. A lot of these companies are now making 3D renders and then 3D printing them and then making molds from those. And, you know, I think it works well. That's how you end up with, uh, that's how you end up with stuff like this, like Catacross. Uh, the detail on here is fantastic. Like, and it's so small. So that's it, boys and girls. I will put a link down below to the miniatures cave on Etsy. You can check them out if you like. Stay tuned. I'm going to do some videos on each one of these on how to prime, what to prime, how to do Zenithal, and a bunch of other stuff that I've really, you know, not so much taken an interest in because I've known a lot of it, but really want to share with you guys. Uh, this year is definitely going to be interesting. If you like this video, and you want to see more of resin minis, resin in general, just anything at all, click that like button down there. Click the subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.